Hey, what's up? It's Nico. In this video, I want to quickly talk about the Fluent commands or the Fluent shortcuts because the concept is misunderstood and I want to quickly explain to you what exactly they are. So you may already know that we have these frameworks and a framework such as the Ada framework. This is a pre-written AI template that you can open and it takes a short description and it would write five Ada ads for us. Now, this framework has a fluent shortcut. If I click on it, I can see the shortcut. Ada add four and then comes the description. It's the same description that you can see here in the example. Now, all these frameworks inside the base library, well, most of these frameworks, they have a fluent shortcut. For example, if I go to blogs and I can see the outline framework, it has a fluent shortcut. Title, introduction, all these frameworks, they have fluent shortcuts. And what these shortcuts do is they trigger the framework. So if I use this shortcut, it will trigger this framework directly on the canvas. You don't have to open frameworks to use a framework. So for example, if I want to use the outline framework and I don't want to even open frameworks, I can do this on the canvas by just saying blog outline about and then my topic, for example, copywriting. Now here comes a hidden feature. If I select this and then I click right click expand. Now expand in this case finds a fluent command and can match it to a framework. Expand will not expand the copy in this case. Instead, it will use the framework. So let me show you what it does. Okay, it created an outline for us. So here comes the next hidden feature. If I don't select anything and I click Control and Q again, which is expand. So Control and Q again, it will run the previous command. So it will create another outline for me. There we go. And I can hit Control Q again to get the next outline. So this way you can work directly on the canvas and you don't have to even open frameworks. This is what Fluent is. So what I can do is if I have a topic like copywriting, I can do something like blog outline about copywriting, blog title about copywriting, blog introduction about copywriting. And these are all valid Fluent commands. And I can show you this over here. So the Fluent command for the blog outline, blog outline about, and then your topic. It's the same thing over here. So for the title, blog title about, blog introduction about, or you can say ADA ad about, and then your topic. Close this copy, write copy using artificial intelligence. And this would trigger the ADA ad framework. Now I can remember these commands from the top of my head, at least like three or four or five commands that I often use. Now, there we go. There's our ADA ad. Now you don't have to remember all these fluent shortcuts. You can always go back inside the library and click on the shortcut if you can't remember what it was. Or you can also go to the help section, closescopy.com slash help, and you will find a full list of all available commands. So it's cool to use this directly on the canvas, but of course there's a downside to it. If you, for example, want to use the ADA ad, let me, the ADA ad over here. And the fluent shortcut is ADA ad four. And as you can see, I used ADA ad about. So it's a little bit forgiving. So if you don't know the exact word, I think you can al also just use on. On would also work. So it's a little bit forgiving you if you don't remember the exact command, but you have to at least remember the essence. For example, blog outline about, blog title about, or blog title for, blog outline for, it would work as well. So the downside to this is you cannot control the settings. And also you only get one output. If you do this here, you will get five outputs for this framework. So yeah, it's up to you if you want to use Fluent on the canvas or 
if you want to use the frameworks directly, but this is basically how Fluent works. So I can now just go in, let me remove this, and then whenever you use your favorite Fluent commands, you just have to replace the topic, and then you can just run expand on it. Expand finds the equivalent framework, and by the way, you don't even have to open frameworks, it can be closed. You can just use this on the canvas and you will get the outline, the title, the introduction right there without switching between all these frameworks. Now, do I recommend it? Yes. If you like it, do it. But a more structured way to use different frameworks in a sequence is, of course, workflows. And yeah, we have training for this. Go check it out over at closerscopy.com slash help.